you so much. Hold on, I have to get really close. <laughs> Hi guys, um, my name is Caitlin Brodnick. Uh, ben is one of my closest friends and I'm just really, really excited to be able to be here and to talk to all of you. Um, I'm originally from Bethesda, Maryland, Kensington, Maryland. Nobody outside DC knows what Kensington is. Um, but from Kensington, Maryland, and uh, I went to Walter Johnson High School and that was the point in my life where I fell in love with physics. Like, fell head over freaking heels in love with physics. Uh, gravity blew my mind. Gravity, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. I was like, what is this? What is this perfect force that is like balancing with the, Earth is, the Earth's force? And it's like keeping us here, and we're standing here, and we don't have it on the moon. I, I was obsessed with it. And like centrifugal force, I, I just, I was crazy about physics. It was my senior year in high school. And also, though, through all of this time, I was an incredibly dramatic, serious drama student. Um, I took everything incredibly seriously. I uh, would dress really dark in very dark clothes, dark shirts, um, would speak to people in a way that made sure they would listen to try to figure out what I was saying. Um, and I just was obsessed with drama. I wanted to be in the Shakespeare play, so I grew out my hair like really long and ugly um, because I thought like <laughs> uh, Juliet would be that. And then I got cast as Romeo's mom, and I was, it was just this very emotional time for me. And then physics came, and I was like, oh my god! Like there's this whole other like magical world that doesn't have that many answers, but like you can study it. And there's people that like do math and and think and care. And I was geeking, geeking out. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to school. Um, for college, and I'm in a double major in physics and in drama. I was like, yeah, 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 great, great, great. Um, now, I went to Syracuse University, and I got in there based on my acting audition, uh, which was incredibly dramatic. Um, and I could tell that they were like, this girl's really gonna be into this program. Um, so I go there, and as soon as you get there, Syracuse is so actor, huggy, friendly, lovey. They like set you up with a academic buddy, like an older academic um, student. And then you have your academic friends that are all also freshmen. And then you have your social buddy and your social, like they basically like cocoon you in this like very emotional, like emotionally safe little network because they know that you're an actor and you're in upstate New York and you could go postal. So I'm there and I'm like loving it and I go into the drama, um, well, I go into like the main drama office and there's Murphy Sirwatka who's like this Polish woman who knows everything. There's like, she has 5,000 like postcards from all of the kids that have graduated and she's the one who sits with you and make sure that your schedule makes sense and make sure that if you're a little bit upset that you're gonna wake up early, it's okay. We're gonna make sure you're not gonna get up early on a Friday. And she just, she sits there and there are these incredibly serious, serious um, theater majors and they would just lay in her office and cry and write letters to their family members and it was just this like incredible cultural like pillow that everybody was like sobbing on top of. Um, so I go to Murphy and I'm like, well, Murphy, I, you know, I love physics. I've found my calling a couple months ago um, and I would like to double major. And she looked at me and she was like, well, okay. Uh, no one's done that before, ever. And I was like, well, America, come on. You, you can have both. Like, uh, I'm, I'm one of those crazy women who does everything. Al Woods did it. Uh, I'm going to Harvard. And I just was like so freaking excited. So she like gives me a stick of gum and a lollipop and it's like, go head up to the physics department and explain to them and we'll see what we can do with your schedule. So I go to the physics department. It's not the same. It is completely sterile. There might have been one student. Um, there was one poster and I think it was a physics joke. I, or it was directions to the bathroom. I don't know. But I was like very clearly, like very bright in this very sterile place. Um, I go in and I knock on the door. <laughs> And this person wasn't even, I think Murphy called him, but it was one of the advisors. And he's like, come on in. You, he just looked at me like, you crazy happy person. And I sat down and I was like, well, um, my name's Caitlin Frodnick. I am a drama major. And I had to tell you, I, I love physics. And I want to double major in physics and in drama. Um, and he looked at me like I was retarded. Uh, like I had a mental problem, like concerned. Like, does this person know where the exits are if there's an emergency? <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> uh, but like, no, like I really like, you know, I took my uh, physics partner to prom, like <laughs> my lab partner and he's, he was really nice. And like, you know, like, 
like, you know, I like, my, me and my physics teacher are like buddies. So um, I was trying to explain to him everything, and he looked at me, and he's like, we've never had that before. That is incredibly difficult. That It, it, it just can't happen. Um, and, and I was just trying to explain myself to him, and I was really trying to like do whatever I could. I was like, okay, imagine that he's like your uncle. You kind of have a weird uncle. Like, how, what does your uncle like to talk about? And I just was like really, really projecting to try and get this guy to like me. So we go over the schedules, and we find out that um, the physics labs and the drama labs are on the same day. So that's why there weren't two physics and drama majors at Syracuse University. <laughs> Not because of me. I wasn't like the first lady who ever thought to do both, but <laughs> I kind of burst my bubble. But I was like, OK, all right. Uh, I think I'm going to choose physics. I'm going to choose physics um, because it's way cooler. Um, and you get way more street credit if you're a physicist. Um, and I was like, yeah, and, and that, that's going to be better in life. So I go, and um, they didn't send me with any partners. There was no like friendly people holding my hands. There was no group of academic friends. There was no group of emotional friends. It was just a hallway I walked down by myself. And I was like, OK, like this is my choice. I'm going to choose it. Um, and then I. One of my friends walks by me, was one of the drama kids, and he goes, hey girl, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, hi, <laughs> you know, I'm just looking at things. And he goes, shit, girl, I just read Hamlet. That shit is first. Like, he like killed his dad. And I was like, you're totally right. <laughs> and my heart just burst open with joy. And I was like, I am a drama major. I'm a drama major. That's my story. I'm Caitlin Brunick. <laughs> <laughs>